Jason Lee and Lyle Barnett. Mentioned this earlier in qualifying, but it bears mentioning again. Lyle is driving Dmitry Samarukov's car. Dmitry couldn't be here this weekend. There is a program in the rules of Proma that allows for substitute drivers where the points will stay with the team and that driver that is in the championship on full time. Lyle Barnett, one of the best wheelmen in modern drag racing, is a natural selection for this car. And then you got Jason Lee, number one qualifier was crushing them left and right down in Charlotte until he had a 001 red light in the four wide final. He was seeking his first NHRA national event victory. He has won a lot of races in a lot of different places, but never won here. Lyle Barnett's won the U.S. Nationals. He knows exactly what he's looking at right now. The Coast Packing Company, PTP Racing, Viva Lions Custom Fabrication, 18 model year Camaro, Swanton, Ohio. I know there's at least one guy in Texas intently tuned in right now. Mention his name because he is the funding behind this operation, Eric Gustafson. You see Flavor King colors on the rear, spill plates on the wing as well. Lyle Barnett flexing his muscle a little bit there, winging the motor up in the blown entry. Then he rolls ahead the blue Camaro that is tuned by Adam Flamholz of Sweet. Neither one of these drivers ought to be trifled with, but Jason Lee does have the quickest car on the grounds, and Lyle Barnett is going to try to punch above his performance weight class out of the number 16 position. Barnett going to be second at pre-stage. Barnett dives all the way in quickly. Lee comes in to meet him. A 002 light for Lyle Barnett, a 19 reaction time for Jason Lee, and Lee becomes a distant memory for Lyle Barnett, running 570 at 252. Barnett manages a 592 at 242, his best run of the weekend. But the one thing you can never say about Lyle Barnett is that he is not ready to get on the wheel at the starting line. And for Jason Lee, he knew exactly what kind of monster was sitting in that blue Camaro because he answered with a 19 light. So Jason Lee goes on to the next round, 5703, 252. Barnett is eliminated in round one, and that was a fantastic first round of pro modified drag racing. Thank you to Fuel Tech, Type A Motorsports, and PGT Trucking. We will see round two eliminations in pro mod coming tomorrow morning. But we're not done yet. This is like a Ginsu knife commercial. But wait, there's more.